So very good to be with you again, Bill Pfeiffer speaking from, uh, from Marysville. Each time we get together, I'm going to try to do something again that uh, will touch both your intellect and, and your heart as well. Always a story that uh, will leave you feeling uh, good about yourself or about the situation that we're in. The situation is, is difficult, isn't it, at the present moment? Uh, every morning for the last 10 years, uh, even when I was teaching school between 6 in the morning and 6.15, my wife and I would say a rosary for the 12 uh, immediate members of our family. And then we added, uh, after the 12th, we would say uh, uh, one for Mary, one for the poor souls, and then uh, one for whoever was president, uh, Trump at the time. And right now, you know, today we said a, a rosary for uh, for Mr. Biden, and uh, he needs all the help he can get. The, you know, clearly he's suffering from either Alzheimer's or dementia, and no one knows who's running the uh, the operation at the uh, at the White House at this particular point. And and recently, you know, him he and uh, you know the Speaker of the House Pelosi being very happy about. Uh, sending abortion kits to people's houses so now they can end up having an abortion in their in their own uh, bedroom. What a terrible, terrible thing that is to do. You know, I don't. I believe no one should do make any decisions on abortion without seeing one or watching a baby be dismembered. Uh, then there might be another kind of uh, reflection before you end up doing things. I think yesterday too, the bishops in the country were uh, met to, or or at least they're in in, in uh, consultation with each other about what to do. These are both. Both Catholics who are, you know, obviously and clearly and happily promoting abortion at the deepest of levels. It's just hard to figure out what's going on. It's just, uh, you know, crazy. It's this can cancel culture in which we're involved in. Not only are you uh, forbidden to think and to, and you have to continue to censor and monitor what you think because people will be uh, unhappy about it. Now they just end up forcing you to lose your job or come to your house and 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 whatever uh, and it's just a, it's it's a bad time and and uh, we really need to to uh, uh, to be alert to the things that are happening know that we're we'll able to speak now but uh, i think all of the clergy and the bishops need to say something now before they're told they can't say anything at all as it's not a good time at all a nice little story just simply called burned biscuits simple message but it's a good message when i was a little boy my mom liked to make breakfast food for dinner every now and then. And I remember one night in particular when she had made breakfast after a long, hard day at work. On that evening, so long ago, my mom placed a plate of eggs, sausage, and extremely burned biscuits in front of my dad. I remember waiting to see if anyone noticed. Yet all my dad did was reach for his biscuit, smile at my mom, and ask me how my day was at school. I don't remember what I told him that night, but I do remember watching him smear butter and jelly all over that biscuit and eat every bite. When I got up from the table that evening, I remember hearing my mom apologize to my dad for burning the biscuits, and I'll never forget what he said. Baby, I love burned biscuits. Later that night, I went to kiss my dad a good night, and I asked him if he really liked his biscuits burned. He wrapped me in his arms and said, Your mama put in a hard day at work and today, and today, and she's really, really tired. And besides, a little burnt biscuit never hurt anyone. Life is full, isn't it, of imperfect things, imperfect people, imperfect situations. That's the story of life. And it's within that life, however, that God is present in each and every one of those events. God is indeed pure energy, and that divine energy enters into everything we say and think and do on a regular basis. What I've learned over the years, the little guy says, is that uh, learn to accept other people's faults and choosing to celebrate each other's differences is one of the most important keys to creating a healthy, a growing, and a lasting relationship.
That's really a nice thing. Another thing is you don't have to say everything that you think. Some people think because they think of it, I got to share it. Well, you really don't got to share it. You know, some things are better not spoken, and sometimes it's uh, it's better to not break the silence. So uh, keep on uh, keep on going. You're in my uh, thoughts and prayers, and, and uh, I ask you for yours so that I can, in simplicity, come before you in true and honesty each day and be able to share something that will touch both your mind and heart. Happiness tomorrow always, always begins by doing what is true today. Good to be with you. God bless.